Good morning. Given that I've been working this week and haven't had the opportunity to get out, I thought today is an opportunity. Um, and tomorrow morning I shall do the same. Uh, it's just a question really of where's the best place to head for. That looks very grey over towards Seaview. So maybe just take this road and see how the light's looking. Maybe end up in Yaviland or somewhere like that. Okay, so it's 25 minutes before sunrise. Uh, sunrise has started to come back towards eight o'clock. So up until it was seven minutes past eight for a good number of days, which was its maximum uh, time after eight. And today it's six minutes past eight. And as you can see, if you are familiar with the area, I've come to Yaviland, which is at the Eastern end of Sandown Bay. And you've got these nice groins, you've got the nice cliffs of uh, Culver Down. Um, and I'm just going to uh, try, I think, a few kind of long exposures uh, just to get me going. Um, and then turn my attention to maybe that new lens I've got, which I finally worked out how to use. Uh, <laughs> in case anyone buys a manual lens for autom you know, uh, electronic cam uh, camera, uh, you have to go to the um, release shutter when, when there's no lens on that function anyway. So finally worked that out. Uh, thank you, YouTube, for helping me out. And um, so I might try some, you know, short field of view type of shots later on. Oh, we're getting some beautiful colours in the sky now. It's looking really, really good. Uh, I've just been trying to photograph this twig with the uh, with the prime lens. Quite enjoy doing that. Uh, it'll be interesting how those have turned out. Let's see if I can get one of the drama of the landscape. Oh, there's a boat landing. So maybe, maybe that will be an interesting subject. Oh no, it's been launched. So the tractor is just taking it out i'll tell you what i'll just go and get my zoom lens uh, on my little camera so i've got uh two options with me uh because a zoom would be good in this circumstance So it does look like we're going to get a little bit of sunshine uh, fairly soon. Um, we're about, let's have a look, about 50 minutes after sunrise. And uh, as I said, I've come up Culver Down. So just stopped to take a few of beeper shoot. The light's got really nice now. A uh, little bit of sunlight bursting through. An hour and a quarter after sunrise, so it's a bit harsh. Um, 
compared to earlier, but still, still soft enough to be very attractive. So there's a stunning, what looks like a pretty full moon, maybe not 100% uh, full, um, up in the sky here as I walk towards the tree with a really distinctive and nice Christmas decorations. So I'm going to see if I can get a, a picture of that, maybe with the moon behind. That might be quite nice. I think I'm going to try and get the moon kind of in the hole in the branches there, about halfway. That looks really good. I've no idea if any of those will have come out <laughs> nicely or not. Um, it's a bit messy, the background with the house and the road signs and things, but this is a really good position to get the moon where I wanted it to be. Uh, so if it has come out, okay. Uh, well, you, you can have a look at them whether they have or they haven't come out, okay. Here they are. One last composition with this tree. I think I'm going to risk life and limb to uh, sort of frame it between the two no entry signs. So, uh, right, deep breath. Oh, here's a car. I better not stand there yet. Uh, I'm going to run to the middle of the road and see what I can do. Well, not, as I said, uh, quite a challenge. Uh, just climbed on board the bus heading to Shanklin uh, after a disappointing sunrise this morning we've had a bit of rain um, but now uh, there's the big Tesco um, now uh, I'm going to go on a walk and I've got three hours to get from Shanklin back home I've got my Panasonic uh, zoom camera with me um, and my iPhone and uh, take some pictures along the way. So a bit of watery sunshine as I come down from getting off the bus and uh, I'm going to head along the sea wall this morning uh, to uh, Sandown. Uh, it's coming up to high tide so uh, see if any pictures present themselves. The, uh, Corporal Cliffs are looking nice. Sun out, waves crushing in. As well. Give us another one. Made it to Sandown Pier, uh, which is a bit of a toilet stop for me. Uh, all the fun of the fair here. Quite busy. Just gonna 
turn inland a bit now and I'm going to head the roadway to Braiding. There's basically two ways to ride from here. We go like along the main road for a while into Braiding and then go along the old railway line. That's the one I'm going to take. Or you can go up and over Culver Down, down into Benbridge along the coastal path and head back from there. Well, I don't think I've got enough time to do that today. So I'm going to take the braiding route. Okay, so uh, not unusually in these conditions, uh, we've got a rainbow. So uh, I'll just try and uh, <laughs> get myself in a position to photograph that. It's uh, quite a good one. You know, not really the best place to photograph it. Nice afternoon now and the uh, sun is out and I'm on the old railway line between St Helens and Brading. Uh, it's a bit muddy in places uh, but thankfully making good progress. I've got to really get a move on if I want to be back for two so uh, I'm not sure if I'll take any more photographs on this little journey so uh, I'll catch you again later. Uh, just out for a stroll and once again kicking myself for not bringing my zoom camera I should take it everywhere. Uh, it just looks so unpromising lots of grey clouds But we've just had a fantastic rainbow uh, Over Portsmouth which I've been taking pictures of with my on my iPhone uh, which I'll put on but <laughs> it could have been so much better with just that small camera if I just brought it with me but uh, I suppose I put it on just proves again really that whatever the conditions if you come out uh, you can get some fantastic photo opportunities I was pleased to have the phone I guess to take uh, pictures of it but uh, as I said it could have been so much better oh well can't win them all Hi, I've just nipped out for sunset and a lovely one it is here at Appley Beach. Some beautiful colours and textures in the sky. The clouds looking really, really good. Just trying a few kind of long exposure shots because the, the water's quite rough. So sometimes that can give quite a nice effect with the colours in the background. So we'll see how they come out. So uh, taking a few with the iPhone as well. Cold crisp evening been a lovely day i've unfortunately been working all day as i will be for the rest of this week so no opportunity to get out for sunrise but maybe for the odd sunset and today's a nice one <laughs> 